Um, something massive has just happened in the Helldivers community, and there is a brand new CEO. I can't believe I just saw this pop up on my phone. I was I did not expect any news like this to happen recently. Maybe this is good for the future, but we are going to be reading through the full article today and the statement from Johan, what he's just posted on Twitter or X, and wow, I did not expect this. Now, if you guys do get all the news you need to know, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Wow, I am shocked. Uh, just literally uploaded a video. I didn't expect this. Um, so, Johan has gone over on Twitter to say, Hey, everyone. Big update. I've decided to hire, um, I'm going to say Shams Georgiani. Um, hopefully, I pronounced that correctly. As the new CEO of Arrowhead. We go way back and I wouldn't trust the business in any other hands other than his. And he comes with an impressive, um, well, just say CV or resume and love for games. But what about me and my involvement in Helldivers 2? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm taking the role of Chief Creative Officer, which means I will spend more time with the team and 100% of my focus on the games and the community. That is crazy news that's been announced today. I cannot believe this has happened. This could be really good. Um, and the reason I say this could be really good is like what Johan said himself, just like, you know, he can be a bit more involved with the game rather than the higher up kind of things because the sad thing that happens in the world right is everyone loves gaming and then when big business decisions and stuff come up you have to deal with them and it kind of kills your love for gaming sometimes and um, I've seen this happen with a lot of people that I know and uh, you know game developers it, it, it gets quite stressful so it is what it is. Now Johan then went on to say here's an art, um, article from um, gamesindustry.biz this allows me to focus on my passion of creating the most amazing games for y'all. Let's get into the um, the post now. It is an article and it is from obviously Games Industry and it says Helldivers 2 developer Arrowhead names Shams Georgiani as its new CEO. Company founder Johan remains chief creative officer and chairman. So Arrowhead Game Studio names Shams Georgiani as its new CEO, replacing company founder Johan in the role. Johan will remain chief creative officer and chairman, um, and the, the move follows the smash hit success of Helldivers 2, which has sold 12 million copies since its launch on PS5 and PC in February. Jorgani, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Jorgani. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. Is a game business veteran and spent 12 years in senior leadership roles at Paradox Interactive, and he's also served as chairman of indie publisher um, Hooded ha Horse, um, and acts as a senior advisor for various game businesses. Speaking to Game Industry Biz, Johan explains that hiring a dedicated CEO will give him more time to focus on his love for game creation while giving the company and structure and leadership it needs. I've been thinking about the journey ahead for Arrowhead, the future games we're going to be making, and running the organization beyond the 120 or so developers we have currently. He tells us, I realise that running an organisation of over 100 people to however large it's going to get, it means I will have to choose between deepening my love for game creation or the business track. And that's exactly what I just said before. That That's what happens so much. And it's it's I'm, I'm actually feel really happy for Johan because this means he's not... No, You know, if you're a gamer like me, right, you don't want to lose that love of gaming. And when I was working in P PR for the gaming industry... That kind of happened to me a little bit. It was like you wanted to enjoy the game side of things, but when the business side of things gets involved too much, it kills that like love for gaming. And what I love about being able to do YouTube is I can have I can play the games, I can talk about the games, and have passion for them rather than business. Um, so over the last year, um, go um, over the last year going to the launch of Helldivers Two, I've been pulled more towards the business side of things and not able to focus as much on the creative side. That made me realise I need to make some decisions, both for the success of the business, but also myself. I reached out to Shams and we had lunch and we asked and we asked him if that um, if that I was going to reconsider running Arrowhead for the next decade and I needed to hire a new CEO. Would he be interested? After some complaint, um, oh, well, after some ch some chat and some deep anxiety on how things are going to pan out, I finally came to the proper conclusion that I will have to follow my heart. 
It's not only right for me, but it is also right for the organization. Having a reluctant CEO is not something that will turn out well, I think. Georgiani George, George adds, when you're talking cre uh, to creatives like Johan, it's not like he wants to retire. Helldivers 2 isn't the highlight of his career, and hopefully it's the fourth best game he ever makes. So the question is, how do we set Johan and the team up to get that more of a consistent manner, rather than his skill plus luck plus happens? All the things led us here. What I'll be bringing to the table is organisation and leadership. What I did at Paradox, um, where I joined as the 23rd person and helped grow the company into the behemoth it was, it was about organisation, leadership and business focus. It's a lot of the frankly boring business administration stuff that is necessary part of running a company, which is hard to do when you're juggling the chairman's hat and the creative director's hat, and also being the one who is in the trenches doing a lot of the designing that Johans has been doing over the years. Bethesda has Todd Howard, um, uh, Kojima Productions has Kojima, Remedy has Sam Lake, but when you ask who is running these companies, who is the CEO or managing director, you can't have the humble servant. He laughs behind the scenes. So that's set up. How do we enable Johan to make more Helldivers? And what I bring is structure around that. Wow. Okay, that was a very, very interesting read. And to be honest, guys, I think this is a great move. I really can't wait to see what you guys think about it, but I'm happy. I want to see the game grow more and more and more. I want to see, I'm, I'm glad Johan can go back to what he loves doing um, away from the business side of things and to know that we've got such a successful guy, uh, you know, on top of running things is uh, great to see. And I welcome Shams along board. Really happy to see you. And uh, hopefully you can help a lot of us in the community finally get towards what we want, the right direction, the right lead. And uh, I'm excited. Um, to Johan, I want to say congratulations for everything that you've done. Um, I would not take any, I wouldn't look at yourself, I'm sure you don't, and be like, um, I feel disappointed that I couldn't do it all. Not at all. You've had a fantastic launch. You did great. And the thing is, um, you've got a great team underneath you as well. And this could definitely be fantastic. You get to go back to your love of gaming. You don't need to be involved in this business stuff because, you know, sadly, that's what happens higher up. I'm sure many of you guys know that if, you, if you're watching this video and you run a company, you know that there's fun aspects, but there's terrible aspects to it. And uh, that's just the way things are. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the full news update today that the official confirmation that CEO Johan will be stepping down as the CEO to become the chief career. <coughs> Let's try that again. Chief creative officer and chairman of um, um, Arrowhead while Shams takes over. And I can't wait to see what's coming very soon. Leave a like, subscribe and catch you guys soon.